Hey guys, it's Harley Wood. Today I want to show you these G-Code holsters. These are not Kydex, they are injection molded plastic. Um, very, very high quality, stiff, durable. I mean, this is, this is the real deal. This is what um, people wear on duty or deployed. Um, I'm sure there's special forces that use these. Everything about these is the highest of quality. You're gonna pay a little bit more for these. Uh, but the old saying, you get what you pay for, couldn't be more true. Um, the beauty of this system, they come in a couple different variations. This is the um, XSH, and I believe they have a, one called the OSH that does not have this retention system. And then they have one called the SOC. And the SOC are um, a fixed top piece with different bottoms depending on which firearm you want to run so they have you know all the trigger guards cut differently and you you can kind of modularize your your setup but this is the XSH or XST um, and the beauty of this whole system is this right here this is the RTI adapter um, Serpa has something very similar but I believe theirs is like a uh, you know a equilateral triangle whatever you want to call it um, this one is like you see here so to my knowledge the two systems are not interchangeable but the beauty of them is that they sell all kinds of different adapters so this is a paddle and quite simply it snaps in and then there's a oh, on this side there's this pin right here you lock that pin and then this is on there it won't twist it won't come off nothing um, very very sturdy on there to get it off these two pieces here Simply pinch them, that pin pops back out, and the system comes right back off. So it comes in a variety of different colors. Um, the Coyote is my wife's setup. The Multicam is my setup. And this is actually the same injection molded plastic with the Multicam fabric basically glued onto it. And there you can kind of see it's very high quality. Um, there is a retention screw on all of these. Uh, I have my Glock 19 here. It has been safety checked. The gun is unloaded. So let's talk about this retention system for a second. Okay, This has a thumb brake, so when it's riding on my strong side, um, again, this is probably not going to be a concealed carry option like my, my Zorn holster that I carry on a daily basis. It just sits too far off the body. It's, this is a very bulky system, made to be worn more as a duty or go-to-war setup. Um, so in order to uh, disengage the, the safety mechanism as your hands coming down your thumb would hit the button here and the brake would release and you draw the weapon when that is when the the safety strap is on there you're not getting that firearm out of there there's absolutely no way uh, this is a very very hard piece of plastic on top there you're not going to get that weapon off unless you want it to come off and you disengage the button. So uh, the OSH version is the one that does not have this system on it. It's a little bit cheaper because it won't have the hinge mechanism here nor this hinge and button mechanism on the back. But again, the beauty of the system is there's all kinds of adapters for, for this RTI system. So here you see my drop leg. This is basically my, uh, you know, shit hits the fan setup. And then here on my vest, there you go. Now it's on my vest. That's my that's my other setup. So let's pop this back off. This one is adapted for Molly configuration, and it is in a horizontal format. However, you can take these five screws out and turn it into more of a, a vertical format or even put it at different angles. So it's a beautiful system. I mean, and again, this is, this is pretty much the real deal. This is not a weekend warrior kind of shit. This is, um, this is what a lot of the, you know, the real guys, unlike myself, use. I've never been in the military. Um, however, if, if the, uh, balloon went up or whatever you know whatever your shit hits the fan scenario is uh, this is what I would use I would get my vest AR-15 and my drop leg and I'd be keeping watch over my property 
So that is the G-Code holster system. Go to tacticalholsters.com. Uh, I paid for these. I, I paid for all this stuff. I, I want to say these were probably, and I'm going to get this wrong because I've had these for about a year. Uh, these were in the ballpark of $50. This thing, the drop leg, was probably in the ballpark of $45, $50. It's cheaper if you don't get, you know, the, the one with the multicam uh, coating on it. And then I want to say this paddle wheel is probably $20, $25, bucks, somewhere around there. So it gives you kind of an idea. And then the one on the tack vest, I think that guy was about $18. So go check it out. I think Such even has a discount code still. Like I said, it's been a while since I've purchased. But um, I think it's Such00 is his code. And you get 10% off with that code. So again, this is the G-Code uh, holster. Very, very tough uh, plastic. Can't go wrong with it. Go check it out. Thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, post them in the comments below. Hit subscribe. Uh, I got a lot more stuff coming up. I got a whole list of videos on my iPhone. Um, I, every time I think of something, I just make a note. So I got a whole list of good stuff coming. Hit subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.